so here we go. So this vehicle has 153 horsepower and 247 foot-pounds of torque. Which is amazing. It is torque. amazing. I'm so happy that Javier is with me because yeah. usually I say how cute is a car. <laughs> but now he's going to tell me the, the juicy. So this car is already in, a, in the lease program in California? Yes, you can lease this car for $499 a month. Yeah. Hang on. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's the torque. And what's the range with one full charge? 300 miles. 300 miles. So it's better, that's than, what, it's better yes. than an electric car. And that's the whole point. That's why hydrogen vehicles are going to be so valuable in yeah. the future. Not only are they zero emissions, yeah. but they have a much farther range than an all-electric vehicle. And the driving experience, obviously, which is like, exactly. as you said. Exactly. You've got all that torque, so you feel like you're in a drag racer. In a little go-kart. Yeah. yeah. I was going to turn right down here. We'll see if we can still do that. It's zero to 60 in nine seconds. That's what okay. it has 247 foot-pounds of torque, which is an awful lot of torque that's almost double the amount of horsepower it has. And the difference between horsepower and torque is the difference between quick and fast. Yeah. We might not be fast, but we are very quick. Do you know what's the, if, if the lease price the includes lease price the charging? The lease price is $4.99 a month. Of the hydrogen? <laughs> I know. <laughs> The hydrogen fueling stations in California, there are 13 of them now, yeah. and there are more in the development stages. Yeah. So when you lease one of these, you lease it for $4.99 a month, you put down $3,600, and Toyota, you want it to turn down? Yeah, just like the, yeah, the, right the vent, yeah. So. And Toyota provides the fuel for the, for the early adopters of this car. So, so you don't have to pay for the fuel, for the hydrogen? For the first people that buy this car or lease it, they will not have to pay for the hydrogen. How many of those people? They haven't decided yet. Okay. That probably decides on, that probably is based on how on many volume, earlier. Yeah. yeah. Because they're manufacturing 700 in 2000, what year are we in now? 15. 15. And then 2000 in 2016, and then 3000 in 2017. So what Toyota is doing right now is they're working in like partnership. Like an experiment. Yeah. There were, well, no. I, I mean, it's like it's a marketing experiment, not the technology. I think it's more than an experiment to Toyota. I think Toyota is 110% committed. No, I'm saying in terms of, uh, of like feel, adaptation, feel the of feel oh. the customer, the reaction to see of the how customer. Many, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, I'm right, not right. saying like that. I mean, the technology is. Yeah, I exactly. Hear what you're saying. Gotcha. I mean, the technology has been in place actually for like more than 10 years. Yeah. I remember a Chevy Equinox like yeah. 10, 15 years ago in Miami. The problem with the problem with really being practical with fuel cell technology is fuel cells use some very expensive components like platinum. Yeah. And you know how expensive platinum is. So the way that Toyota got the cost down was by making the fuel cell just one cell instead of multiple cells. Yeah. But when they made it just one cell, it reduced the voltage significantly. So Toyota put a voltage booster on it to boost it to 650 volts to make it compatible to all the existing hybrid parts they already had for the Prius. Yeah. So because they built it in-house and they were able to use so much of the pre-existing hybrid drive system, it kept the cost down. I see. Yeah, because I mean, they had advanced so much in that technology that they just like yes. take advantage of that. And this car is not is not cheap. I mean, it's no, I know. 7,000. If, if you were to buy it, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. But that's that's not the same case with all new technologies. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. And if what you're about media, I see that you have applications that you can play. Yes, in. this is actually very cool. So you can go to apps, and right there, there's your navigation. Awesome. Go back to apps. Here's no traffic, your phone. No so my phone is paired. This is my phone book, wow. and it will read your text messages. So my text messages normally show up in here. Um, and my phone's paired. I wonder how come they're not showing up. Maybe somebody erased them. But you can use Pandora. And... Yes. Okay. In fact, Toyota has its own app you download to your phone called Intune. Mm -hmm. That's the name of this system is E-N-T-U-N-E. -E. And once you have that app on your phone, there are all these apps contained inside of it. Pandora, mm -hmm. Yelp, Bing, and they communicate with the car. Mm -hmm. So you can use Yelp right here on the screen and it's utilizing your phone nice. so you could map yourself to a restaurant on Yelp oh, awesome. you can check in on Facebook and what about the for safety um, 
purpose. Um, do you guys have the same thing like OnStar? Yeah. For, um, 24 hour DM roadside assistance. Very similar to that. Okay. Yes. 24 hour roadside assistance. Mm -hmm. So you can locate your. Uh, and this has XM radio in it, so we have satellite technology and we have real-time traffic, of course. Real-time. Oh, yep. yeah. That's what we need. Which, in, which right now is like stand still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at... Don't drive. Don't yeah. Drive. So this is what I meant by hurry up and sit. Mm -hmm. This is what we do in this traffic. It's crazy. Yeah.